Hello and welcome to this course on Docker Basics. This video we will see how to create a Kafka cluster using Docker. So first create a directory Kafka-Docker. So go inside that directory and create a Docker Compose file. So I will be adding this Docker Compose in the description. And I am pasting my Docker Compose here. And here I have uh, three Zookeeper and three Kafka services running. and uh, uh, Zookeeper 1, 2, 3 and you can see it's all using different different ports and also under environment section I have defined all the variables like other Zookeeper information client port and etc and for Kafka also I have uh, uh, the port defined so different different ports are used and uh, uh, you can see uh, I'm defining uh, the Zookeeper servers details like uh, uh, what are the various Zookeeper services available and uh, the port information all. So I, I, I used uh, this Confluent image so you can just use uh, go to the Docker Hub and search with Confluent INC. Uh, you can see that images so here I used Kafka and Zookeeper alone. So these are the images I used in my docker compose file. So you can see uh, for cp iphone zookeeper and cp iphone kafka. And uh, you can see the details here like uh, so what is about the tag and other information. So docker pull command etc. So I use uh, this image in my uh, docker definition or docker compose file. So back to the docker compose uh, and uh, here you can see the confluent and uh, I use uh, CP Kafka and CP Zookeeper and uh, for Kafka also you can see and uh, I defined uh, various host name and uh, port also okay and under environment section so I defined uh, broker ID like one two three and uh, my Zookeeper uh, name and port information and on which port this is listening etc so i use 19092 19092 uh, 29092 and 39092 so these are the three kafka services which i have so the next step is we use docker compose and up iphone d so that it will run in a detachable mode so this takes some time because it has to download uh, these images from the repository and then once this download is completed then it will start the container so the download speed depending on your network bandwidth so now everything is completed now we will check just use the docker container ls that will list the container here you can see uh, three kafka container and uh, three zookeeper containers are up and running you can see the port uh, where it's running all those information and the container name and its status etc and uh, here you can see uh, the i have uh, different containers for zookeepers and kafka so uh, let me do a test by using the telnet but i think i don't have a telnet uh, command available let me just install the telnet package using m install utility and uh, so this will uh, download and install yum repository for uh, telnet and uh, once uh, telnet has done so we will again check the container port information so let me just uh, clear the screen and to use the docker container ls and list the container again and try to uh, get the port information use telnet localhost and uh, the port number which is mapped so for zookeeper you can see 12181 so that is a one one of the zookeeper and uh, uh, the second zookeeper is running on i mean the map to 32181 and third zookeeper so two uh 22181 so that is a another support so all these are up and running zookeeper similarly we can test kafka also if you have any application uh, available so we can uh, test this kafka service using that application also so now if i want to uh, stop this container and uh, terminate the instance you can use docker compose down so that will 
stop the container and uh, clean the container. I hope this is very clear and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.